Here's an old heater that we've been using for like a decade or so, and I think it's actually older, like maybe 15 years old. I think we should take it apart because my mother has deemed it not really safe enough to use, which that's her call because it's her house. And plus, it's kind of, it's been starting to give like a, a little bit of a funky smell. Might be getting a bit old. It's an Eden Pure Quartz Infrared Portable Heater. Actually, I got it for free because back when I lived in Panama, Illinois, one of my neighbors, her name was Betty Workle, she was kind of just a, a lonely old lady and she would she would call me over to help her like change the battery in her smoke detectors or whatever and she usually paid me a dollar. It was, it was really great because basically she just wanted someone to talk to and so I'd go over there and talk. Well, one time she gave me this and I think mostly just because she didn't know how to run it. She was like 95 years old and she just she didn't know how to really get it to work even though it was kind of simple. But you know, stuff like that gets pretty hard when you're old. And so she she gave it to me and actually I used it for quite a while. Funny thing, you would think someone like that would actually be pretty boring, but she had some pretty interesting stories about how after World War II, her son, who fought in the war, fought in Japan, actually uh, came over and took her back to Japan to like see all the sites and whatnot, which of course at the time it was all kind of bombed and blown up, but I mean, eh. It's kind of hard to have any history about World War II without there being some downsides, because pretty much everything in that time had a downside. So, I mean, I still think it's kind of interesting. Whoa. Plastic. It's made from ABS. It's kind of interesting. ABS once again. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh, interesting. So that's actually pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Looks like this is made for high temperature because I imagine this is the filaments right here. We have. Oh, what's that called? A circuit block or something like that? So that's kind of interesting. Oh, wow. Hmm, look at that. That's the actual heater unit right there. Got a little relay, got a fuse, a little beeper, a little microchip, some LEDs, and two buttons. I guess these are, yeah, these are little capacitors. Those might be kind of useful. Check that out. A nice little fan. This would be so nice for like a forge project. Have that blowing the air underneath the coal to make it nice and hot. I'm happy with this already. Oh wow, another one. Hmm. It's actually a pretty sizable piece of copper. Well, cool. Kind of neat. Oh, I get it. It's a spring. Now that's actually kind of cool.
yeah, not cool. It's actually a pretty thick piece of copper. Not cool. You can see. Oh wow! You can see the the heat around it. How it affected and oxidized the coating. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Got a nice amount of stuff from that, and I can probably put this stuff to good use. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!